Douglas Heard, lovely little uh, festival here. Why, why have you come? Because I love these, I love village festivals, and I'm doing a, a lot selling my book at the moment. I'm doing the rounds, and I, I thoroughly enjoy it. Each one is different. This is obviously the, fir the first attempt they've had of it, and it looks fairly successful. I mean, ha what feeling have you got about it? Well, it's, it's all go, isn't it? It's, it's buzz, and the, uh, and the orange cake is delicious too. <laughs> uh, cups of tea and uh, a, good, a, a, good, a good collection of authors. And uh, I think they've done very well indeed. The, you're, you're one of the line of politicians that's gone into, into writing books. What sort of books do you write? I've written, I think it's five or six novels, I can't really count, and, um, and several sort of books of history, I've written The Life of Robert Peel, and now I've written this book about um, 11 foreign secretaries. 11 foreign secretaries? I chose 11, no particular reason. We've just, uh, a friend and I, we've just, we just fished 11 out of the pool. Beginning with Canyon Castle, because they fought a duel on Putney Heath, and uh, uh, Castle Ray wounded Canning and he limped off the field um, and they hated each other and but they also they founded two different ideas of what how Britain should run its foreign policy so we followed through those ideas down the down the centuries we ended with um, Anthony Eden and Ernest Bevin so you haven't gone really modern then? no we haven't we haven't we haven't brought ourselves up to date are you going to do another book that brings it up to date no I don't think I will no because you, you you get into you, you start trading on people's toes yeah, I mean, yeah, you're coming, coming back to the festival, you're, you're, you live fairly locally, or you have lived fairly locally. I live at Westfall, yes, which is just over the border in uh, Oxfordshire, and I was, um, I represented the, what, what, the area that David Cameron represents now, I was the member for West Oxfordshire. And with an election imminent, do you miss the hustlings? And Not really at all. My, my, my son's an MP, he's the MP for Rice Slip and Northwood. And uh, so I get a little bit sort of vicariously, I get a little bit of the blowback from him. Um, but I don't really, I don't really miss it now. Uh, so the, the hustle and bustle of Parliament uh, and so on, you know... The... You forget the hustle and bustle of the House of Lords, it's a very exciting place. <laughs> uh, yes, I believe it is. Um, so. You know, you, you, more books in the line? I, I'll, I'm thinking of writing a book about Disraeli. That would be the next one. You're not, I, you're not looking at, at fiction or...? No, I've, I've done fiction. I've done fiction. Fiction's hard work. You have to flog your imagination into action every day, and that's, that's, that's hard work. So, so we'll, we'll look, look forward to a, a Disraeli book next? Yeah, but a Disraeli with a difference. Thank you very much. OK, thank that's you great. very much.